Hello Aries, so this is a reading that I have for you guys. It's going to be another weekly reading from the 10th until the 17th. Now to please excuse my nails. My nails looking crazy. <laughs> okay, the last set did not last. I um, went to a new talk, but I'm not going to go back there. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the romance. I don't know romance angels. Let's start with the tarot first. So, universe. Um, universe, what's the current energy between Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind for July the 10th to the 17th, 2021? So we got Eight of Cups, okay? So Eight of Cups is about walking away, leaving, okay? Emotion checked out. I feel like you guys are done with somebody for good, okay? So Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what would they like to say for Aries? I mean, to Aries, the star. So this person still wants something with you, but you're done, Okay. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what would they like, I mean, Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what are they keeping hidden from Aries? Ace of Pentacles, okay? This person might have been cheap as well or stingy, um, but what they keep in hidden from you, especially if you have blocked them, I don't feel like they're purposely trying to keep this hidden. It's more like they're trying to start something new with you. Because I do got the star card. So I feel like a lot of you guys probably blocked them, you know, cut off all ties with them. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, how do they feel about Aries for July the 10th to the 17th, 2021? Universe, okay. Universe, the strength in the verse, okay? They feel like you're done with this connection, but they still want to try with you, okay? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what is their true feelings for Aries for July the inference? Yeah. They still want you to be theirs. Universe, the person that's on... Oh, I got a card I want to show up. Nine Pentacles. They also see you don't need them. You're self-sufficient. Okay. Um, universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what intentions do they have with Aries? Four Pentacles. Yeah, they still want to hold on to you because they see you have a lot of value. Okay. They see you. you they see that you know your value too. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind... What actions would they take with Aries for July the 10th to the 17th? Queen of Swords. So I feel like they're going to try to speak to you, okay? Um, they might, like, they speak to you like you're the one that's doing, like, you're the one that's the wrong person, okay? So you walking away, you know, you being done with them, they feel like you're doing wrong. Like, you're the one that's the wrong person, <laughs> So they're going to be communicating to you, but their their tone is going to be like, you're the one that's wrong, and probably that's not even the case at all, okay? That's what I'm seeing. But I feel like you guys are done. You mostly checked out from the situation. You're going to hear from them. You're going to be hearing from them soon. Um, that's what I'm seeing, okay? So the sign of this person, this person could be an air sign, particularly Aquarius, could be a Gemini, or I want to say Taurus for some reason, or um, a Libra. Um, this person, yeah, strong Aquarius energy because we got the Leo card here. Opposite of Leo is in the reverse. It's Aquarius. And then we got Aquarius here too. So a lot of you guys are dealing with Aquarius. Um, could be a Taurus like I was mentioning before. Could be a Pisces as well. Another Aries. So let's see here. So, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Aries Love Live for July the 10th to the 17th? So, we got a vampire here. Yeah, I do see that because it's someone who likes to gaslight a lot. They don't see they're wrong. Father, student. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys have mature. Okay, you healing. Some of you guys have daddy issues, and I feel like you guys are healing that because you see that you're attracting somebody. A lot of people that remind you of your father. Okay. And then we got mother. Wow. So some of you guys have mother issues, daddy issues. I feel like you're trying to heal that because you, you want to stop the pattern. Okay. So this person probably had the same issues as well. This is like a trauma bonding relationship connection. So let's look here. Let's see here. Okay. So universe, give me a four card spread. Give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Aries Love Life for July the 10th to the 17th, 2021? Okay, so there is chaos. Wow. 
I know that these readings been crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> then there's belonging, vision, okay? The past three readings I've been doing have been crazy. And this and the Aries reading is a little bit crazy, too. Focus. I feel like you know that this person is just not good for you and you're done, okay? You're not trying to repeat the lesson, okay? I feel like you, a lot of you guys had, a, like, a message. It could have been through... Um, it could have been through a dream or it probably somebody was talking to you and like that whatever they said stick by you. Like, so I feel like a lot of you guys just realize this situation is just not it. Okay. So let's look at the Capra deck. All right. So universe, give me a four card spread. What's, what's going to happen in areas of life for July the 10th to the 17th? So they got false person. Yep. Okay. Um, sign of wealth. I feel like, yeah, this person was trying to use you somehow. Okay. Message. Oh, some of you guys probably, like, they probably, you probably, you probably, like, caught them trying to use you. Or you, like, you catch them in something. You're catching them in something this week and next week. That's making you see things very differently. Okay. So, universe, give me... A three card spread. What messages? Okay. So there is karmic relationship, hand of cards. I definitely see this as a karmic relationship. You're healing your heart. And I feel like you, like this connection is, is like showing things that you need to heal within yourself. Okay. Because it's like, it's like a repetitive cycle. And I feel like you guys are done with that. You want something that's real and long term. So we got union, wedding, very so connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay. Then there is fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Um, then also there is take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing can, gambling. Um, ooh, there's three cards here. Yeah. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, um, hesitation. And then there is look, looking out, I mean, I'm still looking out, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay. So you just look here. You have a four card spread. You have a four card spread. What's going to happen in Aries Love Life for July the 10th? So they got you deserve love. Yeah, this is like realizing like this is not it. Getting to know each other. Free yourself. Yep. I thought you're going to keep your options open. Oh my God. You saw these cards flying. You're going to keep your options open. Okay, so you got attraction and pay attention to red flags. This is toxic as well. Healing family, family issues. I feel like it's more healing the father or daddy issues, okay? Because you 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 don't want to keep on attracting people that's the same, even though they're different people. Codependency. Yeah, this is someone who's a user. That's what I'm saying, like some form of using. Could be sexually using you. Um, could have been financially or energetically, emotionally using you. Okay, like they trying to put all their problems on you, and then when you like having issues, like they don't want to hear it. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen? Okay, so there is awareness and base chakra. Universe, give me three more cards. Oh, Jesus, a lot of cards. Universe, give me three more cards. What messages do you have for? Okay, so there is Empress, your energy here, firm foundation. Yep, and new beginnings. This relationship was needed, to be honest, because I feel like it's really teaching you valuable lessons and it's making you look deep within yourself and transforming you for the best. Okay, and you're moving on, you're done. So let's see. Okay, let's look here. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Aries for July the 10th? So there is recovery. Universe, give me three more cards. Romance. This person still wants you. Okay, but it's like, it's not good. Forgiveness. I feel like you're going to forgive them. But not necessarily move, like, um, be back with them. Okay. But I don't know. Some of you guys might reconnect with this person or reconnect with someone else. 
Because here is showing a different message. Here is showing healing, a relationship with the romance, recovery, forgiving, and then big happy changes, peaceful resolution, help the people, and then general energy success. Okay, this is a different message. So I feel like this is for those other Aries. Probably you are connecting, you're reconnecting with somebody that is, well, it's not bad. This is, it just, you guys part of ways. Um, and I feel like it can work out, but I feel like this is a different person than what the tarot and the other decks was showing through energy. This is a whole different person, but it's, it could be someone from your past. So let's look at the Oracle. Okay, let's see. Yeah, a lot of you guys are doing with Aquarius. The Aquarius card keeps coming out. So, let's see here. All right, universe, we have four cards. Spread. What messages do you have for Aries pertain to their love life for July the 10th? So, we got Have No Fear. We got the Moon card here. I feel like your mother is wanting you to listen for something. That could be that message with the other duck. Water and Leo, okay? Your mother is concerned about you, okay? Even if your mother had passed away, she's concerned about you. Universe, give me three more cards. Okay, there is exactly three cards. Okay, so judgment, high priestess, and you always have a choice. Yeah, don't repeat this lesson again. Because the longer that you stay in an unhealthy, toxic relationship, the more pain you experience. And I feel like that's what your mother is trying to tell you. Okay? It's best to be single. Don't be caught up with this situation like that. Okay? So that should be done with the water sign of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Leo as well. But just be careful with this person. Yeah. Because I feel like you're catching them. And this is like the the great time to get out of this connection but this person might try to still leech onto you latch onto you and you guys might have a lot of feelings for them or you're looking at things differently you might want to give them a chance but listen to your mother listen to what your mom got to say um your mother probably going to be speaking to you energetically or actually physically speaking to you okay so that's the reading that i have for you Aries, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortotarot at gmail.com.